as the match goes through. Well, that's what he wants, and if he doesn't get a free point on the first serve... you guys were playing with the flexibility that he has no no I, I can't uh, you, my memory's uh, failing me a little bit these days Mark. but no no I'm kidding I mean I might just be the one unknown that we haven't picked coming into this that may help Rublev oh. <laughs> That is just yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's saying he got a little lucky. Rublev, who can get very hot, won five titles in 2021, 20, 23 matches. He feels he's. Maybe he feels he's more dangerous, Andre, when he backs away. And he probably is. Oh, my goodness. What a return serve that was. Serve from Rublev. Very good serve. And it, he had to stretch for it, Djokovic. But what a shot he hit off it to put Rublev on the defensive. And, and was forced to play the lower percentage forehand down the line. And he's good enough. I bet Rublev can't believe. Good solid serve there. 200 Ks from Rublev. Fastest of the tournament, 211. <laughs> He's lost that in two hits as well. And on the outside of the line. Most of us, two metres inside the line. Well, not two metres. But it almost looks like he aims for the line, which is sort of. It's like having more time than most athletes and having more vision. And the line probably looks big to him. Gee, it looks small to me. Yeah, well, they try to put some extra depth on that second serve, but it was the same place it was going into the Novak backhand. Certainly not comfortable. Well, I think, you know, all of us, when you play someone that you actually know is better than you, you get an opportunity, or maybe they won't, they'll put in a bad game. Well, I'll just go back to the fact that Rubert, he lost that game with the wind at his back, and I know he served a double and he got out in front of one four. It always sounds a bit counterintuitive, but it's genius. Okay. And well, then you flip one out wide. or four times over the course of that rally, you know. Lower ball, slightly slower, higher trajectory, bit of room to work with, he smacked it. And, and Rublev doesn't have that, he's got one gear. Yep, speed. Yeah, it's at about 8,000 revs, isn't it? <laughs> Mum, of course, a coach. Maybe the match against Rinna's just taken that much out of him emotionally that he's a bit flat here at the start. Juice.
What accuracy there. Game Magnificent. Which leads by five games to one. I mean, how good was that shot? Uh, and the thing about the great players as well is their discipline. They can hit a winner off that. He could have hit that 160 Ks if he wanted to, but he knew the best way and his greater percentage way of winning that point was to do what he did. Although I've never seen that happen. 15. Thoughts, Wally? Juice. Juice. Well, I hit the tape, I think, in the end. Well, I deserved it for his anticipation. Djokovic. And it's not enough. You've got to hit with direction here. He just hammers it as hard as he can, but he hit it straight to Jock. Set point. Game of first sets, Djokovic. 40 minutes it took for Djokovic once I again to underline line. how difficult it is to beat him here in Melbourne. He's got one of the biggest differences in pace of average first serve compared to his second. And that's one of the quickest serves that he's hit, not just tonight, but in the tournament. Rublev needs to practice with Adrian Menorino and just grab about 5% of what he's got. His favourite serve, I think, and he's used that to. Fifteen, one ninety-one, uh, and I think he goes for that second serve more and more. Game, Djokovic, decent half volley, extraordinary shot that one. And again, if you know Rublev's patterns you know you can kind of cover the cross court but to come up with that what do you call that shot by the way maybe it was a hybrid of everything and guys we've just been talking i mean pitch you just said it Novak's been honing that skill on building pace on that second serve. You know, you think about Rafa and all the little adjustments he's made over the course of his career to become better, and I think it's it's not a it's not being critical of Andre Rublev. good at the end of the day. And you did write about the ball toss. He's throwing it about a foot too far Jeez. in front. watching him move on a tennis court, isn't it? Rublev has thrown everything at him. I'm enjoying this, uh, this, this competitive surge from Rublev. It's good to watch. He's, he's lifted his game.
He has just won Thank four you. out of 17 points He's on his second serve tonight, Rublev. Love. Couple of set points for a two sets to love lead. That may be the hardest a forehand has ever been hit. Thank you. Upgraded it as well. Oh, I thought it was the same as plan A. No, plan B is go harder than plan A, <laughs> which is awfully hard. <laughs> Thank you. How well has he played the break points though? He's played some of his best tennis at those moments. I think the only way to beat him is to hit it as hard as Andre's hitting it and hit the lines with it. That should be easy enough. Advantage, Djokovic. He's a great kid with a great forehand. Yeah. Yeah, second sets. Yeah, good Drop judgment. Me. Lands Novak two sets to love up in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. Two sets to love. Well, he doesn't need that to go against him. And the guy down the other end is normally too good for you. You need things to go your way. Oh, what a save from Rupert. Uh, not to be this time for Rublev. Thank you. Full of vigor and variety. But sadly for Rublev, another one that goes Djokovic's way and more pressure early on here in the third. Game, Djokovic. Just touch the line there. You know, maybe three or four balls in a match, go out and practice that one. And you can't get it unless you practice it. Oh. That's an amazing serve, isn't it? Yeah.
Sergio. Second ace of the night, and the crowd desperate for Rublev to keep fighting. Something short. He should have known better. Juice. Stretch. Good team, no. Well, despite the scoreline, and you said it, you know, all Andre can do now is just hang around. Shows you what he's thinking, and then huge speed on the fastest. Yeah. And it just keeps an opponent off balance, doesn't it? I mean, you can't cheat in to take the slower serve because you're worried about something coming at 190. Jump. At his height. Ben Shelton. Good team, no. Nobody does that better. That sequence of shots. Nobody. That's the serve. I think he's been burnt with too often tonight. I think he's put himself in the same category. The dagger. My four games to two. Having said that, the pickup on the backhand side from the Ripley forehand was extraordinary. Getting on. Wonderful smash. What else can a man do? And this smash yes. is rather impressive. From way back deep. Oh. That was nice. Nonchalant. And Fitz, you're right. Use that word nonchalant. I'm just... Novak's, it's, this is not taking anything out of Novak, this match. It's amazing how within himself he is. He's been Thank appropriately you. aggressive, hasn't he? All the way through. Yeah. Even small nuances like that, Wally. shot like that you actually know he's playing within himself which is a really scary thought Two, six, Novak through to the last four, and you won't find too many here in Melbourne who don't believe Novak won't be the last man standing come Sunday. Simply flawless.